What? I'm coming, he's coming up to see your chi-chi. Yeah, he's gonna come out of my chi-chi. Right now. Oh no, not right now. Let's not do that right now. <laughs> he has a couple more weeks. He's got purple hair, show me purple hair. Ooh, and she's doing my makeup. Fingers that kind of worked. Here, let me see. Ooh, so pretty. You want to do your makeup now? We already did my makeup. I, I am looking beautiful. We already did my makeup. <laughs> okay, so, oh my goodness, I look ridiculous. Um. <laughs> So I think I mentioned yesterday that I was meal prepping and I meal prepped quite a bit. I actually got a lot done. So I don't think I ever showed you, but let's see. I have my overnight oats meal prepped. I have cauliflower that I need to still cut. Um, these are my, um, they're called egg muffins. It's basically just scrambled eggs with like, this one has, Ooh. hi Paw Patrol, Ooh. hi Sky. Um, this one has broccoli and onions in it. And then I meal prepped some um, quinoa so I can make my kale salads. I just throw like kale, and I have a bunch of spinach left too, so I'm probably gonna use that. But I just throw a bunch of kale and spinach in a bowl together. And then I uh, some quinoa and some diced tomatoes. I'll cup, uh, cut up, <laughs> chop up, cut up some of, um, these just like grape tomatoes and throw them together. That's what I'm about to make. I'm about to make it for dinner, but I probably have, mm, no, I don't. Surprisingly, whenever I eat kale chips, I always get like bits of kale in my teeth and it's so gross, but I've been snacking on my kale chips. These are so good. In the beginning of my pregnancy, this is like all I craved. This is all I wanted. I just wanted kale chips like 24 seven. This and hard boiled eggs with mustard for some reason, which now that I'm 38 weeks sounds absolutely disgusting for some reason. But yeah, I just feel a lot better today in general just because I feel like today's like the first day in like a while that I've haven't eaten like complete crap. So yeah, good food will make you feel good. <laughs> Can you take these to your room? Yeah. Thank you, my big helper. I really had a bit of an accident this morning. She woke up and didn't wake up in time and went TT in her bed. So, we gotta do laundry and this damn washer. I'm so fed up with it. <laughs> it's like all I do nowadays. I just complain. I'm pregnant and I just complain about everything. Um, but this washer, it like, it, it gets stuck on the, I don't think you guys can see me there for a second. It gets stuck on the spin cycle and it just spins and spins and spins and then it adds water and then it spins again and then it adds water. And it doesn't, you know, the spin cycle is like the point of it's supposed to be to dry stuff. It doesn't dry it. It just like, it just keeps adding water to it. I don't really know what's wrong with it, but it's really annoying. <laughs> I end up babysitting the washer half the time. like a baby shoe camera to, to, to see it at home and day. Okay. I think this weekend we're gonna go try to get a new washer. We're gonna go to Best Buy and look and see if they have anything. Some places have like end of the year deals going on, you know? Um, because I really want to get rid of that before baby brother comes because 
I was like, I was explaining to Jake, I was like, I'm not gonna have time to sit there and babysit a washer and deal with a newborn and deal with a toddler on top of that just to get a load of laundry done. And I was like having a little mental breakdown and he was like, okay, we'll go look this weekend. I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> it smells like a what? It smells like a walking, look at this shit. Rocket ship. Yeah. Riley did her her rocket ship bath bomb that she got for Christmas, huh? Yeah. And it smells good. Yeah. Yeah. And it made the color the water blue. Yeah. And she says it smells like a rocket ship. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Her whole face. You keep getting like blue all over your face. We dyed her hair with this like cheap little like purple hair dye stuff that they sell. And it's so cheap, but she loves it. But it like anytime like her hair gets even remotely wet or like she gets any bit of sweaty or anything really, it just it transfers to everything. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like little tinges of purple and it's like it's all over her face. It just looks like you've been it looks like you've been playing around and eating like blueberries. Riley's wearing her LOL surprise towel. I think toast. Oh. You're so cute! Oh, I'll, I'll drain it, I'll drain it. Don't worry about it, baby. What are you watching? Yeah, You're watching her have a baby? Is it a baby boy? It was a boy. It was a, no, it was a boy. A what did you say when the baby, the baby came out and she had an, he had an ouchie? Uh, he, he didn't have an ouchie. He was just messy from coming out of a chi chi. <laughs> what? He'll, he'll come, he'll come out of the chi chi. Yeah, he's gonna come out of my chi chi. Right now. <laughs> oh no, not right now. Let's not do that right now. <laughs> he has a couple more weeks. Riley's been watching birthing, like labor and delivery videos all day now. She's obsessed. And now she's super excited for baby brother to come now, huh? You wanna do a dinosaur egg? Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> so I've come to the realization like over the past like couple days that like, I really have no idea when this baby is gonna come. Um, I'm almost, I'm like a couple days shy of 39 weeks and I'm like, that's full term. He could come early. Like I have it, I don't know, I guess throughout my whole pregnancy like I had it set in my mind that like he wasn't gonna come like he wouldn't come on time, but like he could, he could come early. So <laughs> I think I had my hospital bag packed with Riley like a really long time before I was actually like due with her. Like I think at like 36 weeks or something like that. Um, but I still haven't even packed a hospital bag. And I actually decided I was going to use a backpack that I had in high school, but um, Jake's been taking it to work, but whatever. Um, I decided I'm just going to use the diaper bag as the hospital bag. <laughs> Um, but now I'm in here and I'm trying to decide what clothes I want to take with them. I don't want to take that many outfits. I don't need to take that many outfits. I'll probably take like, hmm, I don't know, three, maybe four, maybe three in a going home outfit. Is that a good idea? Three in a going home outfit. Um, but that's the hardest part is choosing the going home outfit. Let's move this a little bit. Sorry, my camera was slipping and sliding. Um, but yeah, the going home outfit. I don't know which one I want to do. Okay, so I have a couple contenders that I, yeah, there's like, mm, there's three, you know, I'll just show you. Okay, so contender number one <laughs> is this one. Um, this is just a simple gray, super simple. It's kind of quilted, so it's a little thick, but not like too thick. So kind of perfect for the ride home where like the car, like we have heating in our car, obviously. So we don't need it to be like, it's just a quick walk, you know, from the hospital to the car. Um, so like he doesn't need anything warm. I don't know. I just feel like a going home outfit should be warm. I don't know. Um, so there's this one. I really like this one. And then there's also, okay. <laughs> This one, so this is a little mini or a Mickey shirt with a little butt. Um, 
likes that one. So either the gray one, the Minnie Mouse, or the Mickey Mouse one, or where'd the other one go? Um, this one, this one's pretty thin. It's a footsy one too. It's got a little bear on it. Um, or what was the other one? I think it was this one. This one might be a little too warm for a car ride. So cute! I'm really nervous actually because like this whole time we've been sitting here thinking that like I've been Riley was 8 pounds 10 ounces and I've been kind of like banking on the fact that he's probably going to be bigger than that but I was looking at pictures of my bump with Riley I don't know if he's going to be bigger like my bump looks smaller this time around I feel like I feel like he might actually be smaller than she was which means, like, he would definitely need some newborn clothes. Or these clothes, like, these will still fit him. Because these are, like, a lot of these are from... Uh, oh, well, this one's from 9 to 12 pounds. There was one of them I saw that says 7... This... Ah, my camera's gonna start slipping again. Sorry. Sorry. This one says... This one's a 0 to 3 month. This one's... Not a Carter's brand, it's Old Navy. This one says 7 to 12 pounds. I don't know. He, Like I said, he might be smaller. He'll be at least 7 pounds, I feel like, right? I feel like. I don't know. I don't know! To choose the going home outfit. Or, of course, we have... Um, oh, where'd it go? Where is it? He could always just wear this one, because he's a little brother. He's baby brother. I don't know. I don't know. Which one should I take? Which one should I do? I don't know. I might just take all of these ones, all of my favorite ones, and then figure out which one he fits best in. But I'm really trying not to overcrowd the diaper bag, or the hospital bag, whatever you want to call it. I'm really trying to keep it real simple. I don't want a bunch of things overcrowding it and making a big pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, look at all of his clothes. Oh, I totally forgot we had this one too. Oh, Jake's gonna still want this one to be his going home outfit. Look at this Pokemon. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think this is this. This looks huge though. I don't think he'll even fit in that to figure it to be his going home outfit. Yeah, Riley's going through her old clothes. <laughs> Riley, let's see your dress. Okay. Guess what size this dress is. 18 months. And she wanted to squeeze it on, huh? <laughs> oh, we also gotta get the car seat installed. Oh my goodness, we have so much to do.